Hey, I'm a big fan of doing more with less, so I'm always trying to use my drill as an angle grinder, because I don't have an angle grinder. So, um, I'm finding that I've improvised a few different, uh, you know, mandrels for holding cutting wheels and wire wheels and stuff, so I can stick them in my drill. Now, this was one of my earlier attempts. I got a, you know, threaded bolt, threaded all the way to the top, just put a nut on, that pinches the, the cutting wheel. And this works pretty good, except when you, know, you have to put this in your chuck, that fouls up the threads. Eventually, I'm not going to be able to get this nut off. And so this is just going to be stuck on there. I won't be able to change the wheel. So this works pretty good, but there's a slightly better way that I just discovered and wanted to share that. So you'd want to just get a bolt and a nut. Um, get a bolt that matches the arbor hole. That's the little hole in the middle of whatever cutting wheel you want to put on there. And then, you know, we would crank this down with a wrench. So at this point, you cut the head off the bolt. Then you've got something like this. So now, when you put this in the drill, uh, you don't have to worry about it bumming up the threads. These threads up here stay clean, and you can, you know, switch this for some other disc. Um, pretty easily without having to worry about a nut that's been seized on. So I just wanted to share that because it wasn't obvious to me the first several times I've done this, but now it is. I think this is a better way. All right. Hope that's helpful. Thanks.